Hey, this is Jay, and today I want to go over the release notes for Pro version 2056. In this version, we did a lot of behind-the-scenes type of optimization across the board, really, but um, particularly in point-of-sale, um, you're going to see everything um, be a little more snappy, a little more responsive. Um, in, in two places um, in particular, Interchange and Catalog. Um, if I go to Interchange and look up a common number, 51515, for this uh, Interchange, there's a lot of uh, results that come back. And previously, um, on an Interchange like that, it would l uh, be limited uh, to looking up your local inventory only if it didn't exceed a certain number of Interchanges. Uh, it just took too long um, and wasn't very responsive. So um, now um, you'll see how fast this is. Uh, this is a common number. There's over a thousand interchanges and you can see how quickly it, it responded with um, the inter not only the interchanges but also the, the local inventory. Um, so that's, that's a lot quicker than it used to be. Um, and the same concept applies in the cataloging as well. Um, if I look up a part and uh, you will notice a difference here just on your, your normal um, lookups, but uh, you're really gonna see it with all lines. If I click all lines uh, in this application, there's 111 parts and you can see how quick it, it returned the results there. Um, so um, altogether, you're gonna see um, a, it be a lot more responsive across the board, uh, but those are, are two particular places that are uh, real critical uh, interchanging cataloging. Um, where you're going to see a lot of improvement. And that uh, will apply to the app as well. There's a app update that will be coming soon. Um, so if you use the app, uh, Pro Mobile app for cataloging and uh, editing inventory and getting signatures, um, there will be an update for that soon. So you want to get your, um, your system up to date at the store um, uh, ahead of that um, if you can. And uh, there's a few other things that uh, we've done uh, f with uh, 2056. Uh, we lifted the restriction for price breaks, uh, so you can now add multiple price breaks per part. Um, so if you uh, you know want to offer a price break at six and then another one at 12 for a deeper discount, you can do that. Um, it was previously limited to just one uh, price break per part. Um, another thing that has changed in point of sale is the, um, the manual sale screen. Um, so F12 is a shortcut to bring that manual cell up and you can enter in a, a cell price just as you, uh, you know, normally would, and it will kind of calculate a cost and a list for you. Um, this is for like a non database number something you don't have in your system. Um, so you can, you can do it that way as, as usual. Um, uh, but also, uh, now you can go the opposite way. So if you did a buyout on a part and you know the cost, but you don't really know a sell price, um, you can enter through down to cost and you can type in a cost and it will do the opposite. It will figure a sell price for you. Um, that way you don't have to go to the calculator, but, um, uh, and there's a percentage that you can set a default percentage, whether it's 30 or 35 or whatever. Um, we can set that for you um, and it will figure at that, at that rate. Um, so that's new in, um, in point of sale. There's a few other things um, that we've done, um, but th those are the, the the main highlights of this version. Um, so uh, there's a, be a lot more coming. So make sure you get up to date. Give us a call if you need any, uh, have any questions. Uh, if you want to schedule an update, thank you.